In today's video, we're going to be talking about AMD's newest driver that was just announced, the Pro Edition 22Q3, and how it can boost performance as much as 72%. We're also going to talk about the price and performance that was announced for Intel's new ARC GPUs and some concerns that experts may have with them. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into today's video. New AMD Drivers Even though the AMD software Pro Edition 22Q3 driver was designed with AMD's professional GPU lineup in mind, consumer graphics cards can also reap the benefits of this update and the improvements can extend to gaming as well. While this new driver is aimed at AMD's GPU range for professionals in the workplace, consumer GPUs can also benefit as well, and the gains stretch far beyond gaming. In the past, AMD has received some negative feedback regarding the state of its OpenGL drivers, which has been a problem for the company. However, it appears that AMD may have finally succeeded in developing a successful OpenGL driver after a number of failed attempts. The new driver can increase GPU performance by as much as 115%, as stated by the blog post written by AMD. The metrics were all based on AMD's professional GPUs, and the company compares its Radeon W6800 to the NVIDIA RTX A5000, claiming that its own GPU is managing to beat NVIDIA in several applications. AMD itself is referring to this driver as a great leap for OpenGL based apps. In the blog post, AMD stated, the release of AMD software Pro Edition 22Q3 brings our most significant performance enhancements to date in all OpenGL applications and many of your other favorite creating, designing, modeling, and CAD software applications. The latest improvements are edging us towards and beyond the competition such as Autodesk Maya, where we see improvements as up to 41% greater than the AMD Radeon Pro W6800, GPU versus the NVIDIA RTX A5000 GPU. Because AMD is introducing these upgrades to its consumer-grade adrenaline drivers as well, those who will profit from this new move are not limited to professionals using this AMD GPU. This indicates that if you are using applications that are based on OpenGL or play games that utilize such applications, you should be able to observe the performance boost for yourself. In addition, if you have one of the best GPUs from AMD and use it to run these professional visualization apps, you can also try these new drivers out for yourself. AMD initially presented this new architecture in July of 2022 and the company claims to have received positive feedback on it, so it appears that it may be worthwhile to give it a shot. This is not the first time AMD has produced a significant improvement with just one driver update. In fact, just recently we got a performance jump of 92% from drivers alone. Price of Intel's Arc A750 Revealed Intel has finally revealed the pricing of another product in its Arc PC graphics card line. The A750 GPU, which is the second most powerful in the series, will start at $289 MSRP. Intel intends to pit the A750 against Nvidia's RTX 3060 graphics card, which is at a base price of $329 but often retails for between $389 and $489. Intel has priced the A750 to compete with this product. Therefore, consumers who purchase the ARC A750 have the opportunity to save up to $100 on perhaps more, which is precisely how Intel is attempting to differentiate itself from this new GPU market. The other interesting tidbit of news concerns the ARC A770, which is currently the most powerful GPU among all of the ARC line. The limited edition Intel branded ARC A770 will be available at a retail price of $349. This is an increase of $20 compared to the base price the A770 purchased through third party suppliers. However, Intel has hinted in the past that the limited edition version of the A770 model will come with 16 gigs of GDDR6 video memory, which is double the amount of memory that is normally included. The A770 and A750 are both expected to go on sale in the United States on October 12th, the same day that Nvidia will unveil the new RTX 4090, a graphics processing unit with a starting price of $1600. Intel executives have indicated that the company will concentrate on the cheaper solutions at a lower end of the GPU spectrum to remain competitive. Intel revealed pricing for the ARC GPUs in a new presentation. The presentation also included benchmarks demonstrating that the ARC A750 can compete and sometimes even outperform the 3060 in a number of games when running at 1440p. These games include Apex Legends, Elden Ring, and of course, Fortnite. Intel emphasizes the performance per dollar uplift users will receive if they go for an ARC GPU because the A750 and A770 will have a lower price than the RTX 3060, 
This is because the A750 and A7070 can have a cheaper price than the RTX 3060. Despite this, Intel has acknowledged that older PC games would provide a challenge for our graphics processing units in terms of achieving optimal performance. There are at least two other ARC GPUs that Intel wants to release, and they are called the A580 and the A310. Both of these GPUs are expected to be made available on October 12th. Back in August, the company's other ARC GPU, the A380, was secretly made available for purchase on Newegg at prices of only $139, which is extremely cheap. However, PC mag testing revealed that it only provided a terrible performance level, particularly when operating on the older style games. Gamers are worried about the Intel A770 GPU. The A7 series, which is Intel's top of the line ARC GPUs, has been in some leaked benchmarks with interesting results. Video cards reports that Geekbench results have popped up for the Intel A770 and A750 GPUs. The limited edition versions, meaning the ones made by Intel itself, much like Nvidia and its Founders Edition cards. Both the GPUs were put through their paces in a computer equipped with an Intel Core i9-12900KS processor using Vulkan and OpenCPL, the fastest Alder Lake chip. The A770 scored 73,536 points on the Vulkan test, whereas the 750 scored 66,609 points, which is not too far behind the A770. When it came to OpenCL, the A770 scored 99,482, whereas the A750 only managed 88,828. Therefore, the results were pretty much the same. This is an interesting leak because these are the first external results of the A7 GPUs outside of the boasts we have heard from Intel. According to Intel's own performance comparisons, if you recall, Team Blue stated that the ARC A770 is a competitor for the RTX 3060 Ti and the A750 is aimed at competing with the 3060. Both of these statements are true since the most attractive indicators are always selected for clear marketing purposes. These results, along with the results of any other type of internal benchmarking, ought to be taken with a very, very light grain of salt. According to these benchmarks, we can see that the A770 performs roughly on par with the 3060, but not the 3060 Ti. On the other hand, the A750 is quite a ways behind the 3060 by approximately 10 percentage points. But before we get carried away with the ideas that Intel GPUs are just not that good, we need to remember that this is just one benchmark, and the vaguest hint of how the A7 GPUs might actually do in real world gaming, we need to keep this in mind before we jump to any conclusions. Even in the world of synthetic benchmarks, Geekbench scores are not the ideal way to measure gaming in any way shape or form. Just look at the AMD RX 6700 XT. This GPU was looked to be way worse than the 3060 when it was first announced, but now we can clearly tell that the 6700 XT is the clear right choice over the 3060. In any case, the information we can gain from this is restricted, and we will need to wait until the A770 and A750 have been subject to exhaustive testing and reviews before we can know how they truly perform. The good news is that we already know that Intel is targeting pricing extremely aggressively, which we hope for an early on with the ARC GPUs and that should shake up the market for GPUs in a more reasonably priced way. As a result of the fact that the RTX 4060 won't be released for quite some time, Team Green is going to force customers to rely on the RTX 3060 and 3060 Ti for the foreseeable future, so they'll hopefully need to be priced more competitively as Intel enters the market. There you have it for today's video. What do you guys think about AMD's new drivers? Are they legit? Are they going to actually make a major difference in your gaming? Or are they just smoke and mirrors? And do you guys think that this new line of GPUs from Intel will be successful? Or is it just going to be an absolute dumpster fire and laughing stock? Anyways, if there's anything you guys think we can do better with our videos, let us know in the comments down below. We're always looking to get better. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Either way, I love y'all boys, and I'll see you boys in the next one.